Babies respond really well to structure and predictability. We as adults always know what's happening next in our day because we're deciding it. But it can be really difficult for your little one who at one point is cuddling and playing and having lots of fun to be suddenly being put in their pajamas and put to bed and expected to go to sleep. So that's why a bedtime routine is really important. It allows baby that time to start mentally adjusting to the fact that bedtime is coming so that hopefully they go down a lot calmer knowing what to expect. And a baby massage can be a really nice part of that bedtime routine, not only because it helps relax their muscles, but also because it's a nice bonding moment with you that shows them lots of love before they go to sleep. So I'm going to begin by showing you a routine of moves that you can incorporate into your baby's bedtime routine. The younger that your baby is, obviously the quicker they'll become a little bit overwhelmed and tired. So the shorter you might want to make that massage and as they're older, you might make it longer. So I'm going to begin by showing you a series of massages that can be perfect at bedtime whilst we listen to a nice lullaby. Then in future evenings, you can either repeat the massage in its entirety or you can just choose certain bits of it to create a shorter massage or repeat it to make a longer massage. However long you decide for the massage to be, just make sure you leave enough time within your bedtime routine so that you're not rushed in giving the massage. Otherwise, it deceives the purpose of doing it in the first place. You want enough time so that you can do the massage calmly and still put baby down to bed at the time that you'd intended. An example of my kids' bedtime routine is we have a bath, then I give them a five minute massage whilst I'm getting them dressed into their pajamas using some lotion. Then we have milk and stories, brush their teeth and go to bed. So follow along with me as I massage and demonstrate the moves and then I'll repeat the massage again but without talking so that you can enjoy the lullaby and just massage along to the music with your baby. And then next time you can always just skip to that section if you'd like to follow along with me but not have the talking so it's much calmer for baby. Okay, so baby safely and comfortably in front of me. When I do this at night time, it's actually um, with baby on the changing mat, obviously with me there to supervise them, but at the moment I've got baby on the floor, so whatever works for you. And we're gonna start off by drawing a heart on their chest. So placing both of your hands firmly but gently, that's always the pressure that you want to have, and drawing up to the shoulders and down, as if you were drawing a heart on baby's chest. And in actual fact, I always start my baby massages with this so that it comes to be known by baby as an opening that they know that we're going to have a little bit of massage. And if they show to me that they're really not happy with that, they're wriggling and squirming away, then I just don't continue. And you want to do that five or 10 times. Okay, and then we're going to move to baby's legs and we're going to stroke down their legs. So what you want to do is take one uh, of their legs, supporting their ankles with one hand, making a C with your other hand, starting up at their thigh and then drawing down the leg. And you can alternate hands so that one hand is always supporting their ankle and the other hand is massaging down their leg. And what's really important is that what we do on one side of the body, we always do on the other side of the body. So once we've done that on one leg, we're going to move over to the other leg, supporting the ankle, cupping our hand, and alternating down their leg. And however many times we did it on the first leg, we then want to repeat it on the second leg so that they're nice and equal. Okay, and once we've done that, we're gonna move back to the first leg and we're going to reverse the stroke. So we're going to stroke up their legs. So this time you'll see the pressure is mainly on the inside of the leg. So again, supporting the ankles, but we're pushing our hand up and stroking their leg. About 10 times. Obviously you just want to be enjoying the moment with baby, so sometimes I lose, I lose track. I'm not religiously counting, but we want to do approximately the same on both sides. And as I say, if you want to make the massage longer, 
you can just do each section for longer and likewise if you want to make it shorter do each section just a little bit shorter okay and now we're going to move up to their tummy so this can be a good one to do before you've put the nappy on and we're going to take our hands like this and you want your two hands to work in sync so that your hands are always touching baby one hand or another it's important with this one to be gentle stay below baby's rib cage and we're just going to stroke down their tummy which can be a really good way to aid in digestion. And of course, so that if there are any particular massages that they seem to enjoy more than others, keep trying with the other ones, but just do the ones they enjoy a little bit more. And now we're going to move upwards and stroke down baby's arm. So very similar to what we did on the leg, we're going to take their wrist, make sure it's supported, cup our hands, and we're going to stroke down the arms before moving over onto the other arm so supporting the wrist and coming down the arms alternating our hands so we always remain in contact with baby moving up baby's body we're just going to finish by taking just one finger usually your index finger works best and you're going to trace down from their forehead down their nose and you can repeat that about 10 times. Now this is a really nice one because it will instinctively make baby close their eyes. So it can be a really great one at bedtime. But what my husband and I also found was that when our babies were younger and we'd be out and about and they'd be getting a bit overwhelmed and overtired, just by doing this, stroking down their nose would often then send them to sleep or at least calm them down. So a really nice one to do bed or nap time. Okay and then we're going to finish up by going back to the same move that we started with of drawing those hearts on baby's chest so that baby knows the massage has come to an end and of course ending with a nice kiss. And we'll repeat now doing the actions but I'll stay quiet so you can enjoy the moment with baby. 